It's weird. Everything's different and it makes me uh, uncomfortable. <laughs> I can't handle it. Welcome to the WAN show, guys. I'm afraid it's going to be a little bit late. Normally when we start 10 minutes late, we try to also run 10 minutes late. But today we simply do not have that option because it's time. It's the night. I am so freaking nervous. Me too. I am like... For lots of reasons. That's my smartwatch. I actually talked wow. about this extensively on the WAN show yesterday. Oh, last week. Number of steps reached. I just hit my target. There you go. Sitting here. Good job. <laughs> oh, this thing's terrible. It's terrible. So I'm actually oh, writing goodness. my review of it from the perspective of um, everything that I love about it. Or everything that I love about what it could be. Uh -huh. The ideas that I love. Except it's awful. Yeah, so it's going to... I think the title is probably going to be... Who makes it? The worst thing I've, I've ever loved. Or something like that. Okay. You yeah. love it, though. I, I love where we're going. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Smartwatch isn't responding. Close app or wait? What do you mean? So, the entire smartwatch? <laughs> yeah. And we're back. <laughs> that's, that's funky. Um, anyway, yeah. So um, I actually I wrote about half of it before the WAN show today. I had wanted to get that shot this week, but it didn't happen. Sorry. Um, soon, though, that, soon like, though. I'm excited. I'm it excited. looks to me, the reason why I asked it, it looks to me like a Kickstarter product. No, no, this is made by Nubia. They like oh. have real like phones and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what just happened? <laughs> oh, I have alpha gesture on, which is like their air wavy thing. Okay. So when you so go to use it, the screen, yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's like moves double stuff register. You get yeah. There. Great. Really, really good design. Brilliant. Ten out of um, ten. So. I, uh, someone in, well, to, to, to bring it back to the roast, someone in floodplain chat said, will Luke roast Linus? Kappa. Uh, well, I don't know. Are you planning to just go up and say really nice things about me? Because that would be pretty cool. <laughs> I, was, I was informed that's against the rules. I actually thought about, at one point in time, just going up and complimenting everyone. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, in really weird ways. Uh, and then that was, that was uh, no. Yeah, no, that would be a hard no, because then everyone else has to feel bad when they say <laughs> That's why you. I wanted to do it. <laughs> Just to be a jerk. Yeah. To actually be the worst kind of jerk. <laughs> Because everyone just feels like, yeah, it's just really awkward when they go up and try to make fun of me. Um, so people are asking about, uh, so we'll talk more about why we are respectively worried about the roast, because I've yeah. got my own whole set of reasons, and I'm yeah. sure so do you. Yeah. But uh, people on Floatplane are asking, um, what's going on with our streaming on Floatplane right now? So last night I did a test, and it was pretty bad. Yeah. Um, and we're expecting for the roast, which I believe the live stream starts in three hours. Does that sound right to you? Yeah, three hours and 29 minutes. 8.30 is when it starts, is that right? I believe so. Okay. Uh, I, think, I don't entirely know, but I think so. Hopefully soon. <laughs> um, okay, at, at any rate. Oh, that's a really good idea. Dominic says, TechLink Classic Tea is amazing. They should do a WAN Classic Tea. Have you seen the TechLink Classic Tea? Yeah. Yeah, it's Wait, just like the, clean. Just the logo, yeah, right? It's yeah, in your, it's in your merch bin. Uh, uh, I no, think it, Lloyd just brought one down. It, he not. brought it at the last second, I think. No. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, all right. Maybe oh, wait. Right. Did he add this one in? Yes, he added it at the very uh, end. Ah, there yeah, we go. I got yeah, one no, too. that's super sharp. Yeah, it's like really clean. This guy. I think a WAN Classic would actually look really good. That would be pretty cool. Anyway, um, so we did a test last night because our, how much are you guys talking about the architecture of it? We can talk about it. So, okay. Um, it, it, when, when we first started streaming on Floatplane, it was through Floatplane CDN, except it didn't work with the Edge servers. So basically, what that means is there was the uploader that was sending their stream to the origin server, and that server was sending the stream to everyone, that one server, in that one location. And it was really bad. <laughs> And we've improved it a little bit over time uh, on our own, and we've integrated a few other CDNs that we've tried. But very recently, uh, we started working with Cloudflare, very recently as in yesterday. Um, <laughs> and Linus and I did a couple test streams. And I did one, and everything wasn't cached, and there was some other various problems. And then Linus did one, and it was terrible. It was hot garbage. Because of uh, DNS problems and cache problems. So people needed to control F5 their page, and there was a few other problems as well. Now, we're doing a combo 
attack because of a problem that we had with our edge server where we're taking the stream from the creator, bringing it to our origin server, streaming it right now, at least with this stream, to Twitch and to YouTube, and streaming it to uh, another CDN, which is then streaming from that CDN to Cloudflare, which is then streaming to you guys, and somehow the latency is still super fast. <sighs> okay. And it seems to be pretty good. Okay, I've had a couple people complaining that they're switching between 480 and 1080. Um, Unfortunately, that's not a like Cloudflare or anyone else problem. Right. And an, a, an experience that we've we've noticed is that over time it should get a little bit better because the like weird auto detection logic that we have on our side is assuming it's bad and then going like, oh, oh it's actually pretty good, and then giving them more. Got it. Okay. Yeah. Got it. We've actually got a lot of really good feedback, though. So, uh, yeah. It's, it's obviously Online. not perfect yet. Is it just me or is the audio much better on Floatplane? Believe it or not, that is actually one of the things that we identified early on with Floatplane as an easy way to differentiate ourselves yeah. from YouTube. YouTube compresses the audio so much and it's so unnecessary. It's a, actually a pretty small difference. High quality audio versus low quality <laughs> audio is such a small difference in the bit rate when you're serving video that we were just looking at it going, what are they doing? Might as well just not touch it. <laughs> just kind of let it go. <laughs> it makes such a big difference compared to the, the, the gain that you get back from it. Uh, Max2387 says, so glad I subscribed on Floatplane. This is so much better. Uh, yeah, so like we, we have a lot of people right now that so have a notably better experience. Silver There's... side up, holy hell, the difference in quality is amazing. Yeah, there, there are some people that it's still going to be not great for. There are some people that are still going to have some uh, quality auto detection problems. There's, there's obviously going to be some other problems as well, but we think the solution that we have now is better than the solution that we had a week ago, and the solution that we had a week ago is better than the solution that we had four months ago. So it's it's improving. Someone says they hear a fan in the background. That's actually the uh, the mini fridge for our sponsor for the roast, Madrinas, that yeah. is running in the background. Get it? Sorry, uh, next week. Next week we won't uh, we won't have that. Thank yeah, you. the fan noise is just a little. Yeah, it's okay though. Okay, got people asking, are you going to archive the roast in full on Floatplane? I can't promise that. Solid maybe. Yeah. If we can, we will. But it's possible that someone will say something that is just... Deplorable. Not acceptable to me on the Linus Tech Tips channel. There's, uh, there's, Period. there's some alcohol involved. And there's going to be heightened emotions. Um, so I think we're just, we're going to play it safe. So probably. Yeah, I mean, the I people that okay. we've got, so the people on the diet, dais, 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 dais. I think it's dais. Sure. But I don't really know. So the people on the dais, dais, it doesn't <laughs> matter. Okay. Um, are going to be Luke, Nick, Yvonne. James is it, he's actually like kind of the MC, so he's only sort of on the dais. Yeah. Um, who else is it internal? Dennis is going to be on it. Um, Luke, Nick, Riley, Yvonne, Dennis. Riley, and Nick? then we've got I got Nick. Okay. And then we've got three celebrity guests, which I am so excited. Like these guys really went out of their way. It is a lot of work to prepare for something like this. They're not being paid. All we compensated them for was just their travel and their accommodations. So this is really genuinely out of the goodness of their hearts and because they just wanted to contribute. Goodness of their hearts. Um, I've already been told by one of them that they're just laying into me. So, <laughs> so Steve from Gamers Nexus is going to be there tonight. He was actually here in the studio today. We were shooting a really fun video, uh, awesome. water cooling and overclocking a laptop. Nice. Um, Jay's Two Cents is going to be there. And... Uh, why am I trying to blank Kyle? <laughs> Kyle from Bitwit. <laughs> I know, right? So not only is Kyle going to be there, but if you're subscribed to him on Floatplane yeah. as well, you will get access to the roast. Exact same quality. Yeah. The chats will be split. The chats will be split. So um, anyone who follows either Linus Tech Tips or Bitwit on Floatplane is going to have access to the stream when it starts in a couple of hours. Uh, so so get, uh, get hyped. Get, get hyped. There. Uh, it's good. I'm, oh man, I'm, 
I'm really nervous. One one little deficiency on Floatplane that I'm just going to yeah. announce right now is we have notifications for videos. We don't have notifications for live streams. So maybe hang out on the page and you should be good to go. Yeah. I mean, Sorry. we could do what I did last night. We could. We could upload a short video saying, yeah. Come check out the stream. Go That's check out the stream. what we live. used to do back in the day for WAN shows. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> so, like, it's not that weird. Uh, that, that might be a, a decent idea, actually. So yeah, if you guys are more into Kyle than you are into us, then just go to floatplane.com, sign up, and then subscribe to Kyle. And if you're more into Linus Tech Tips, then go to floatplane.com, sign up, subscribe to us. Um, if you're more into both of them, uh, right now, each of us is only $3 a month for early access and behind the scenes and whatever it is that we upload there. So that's probably going up. I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, Linus Media Group is definitely raising pricing once the tiered thing rolls out properly. Um, and I wouldn't be surprised if other guys do too, because the reality of it is with payment processors taking as much as they do, there's just not that much left in very small transaction amounts. So it's like, it's one of those really frustrating things because on the one hand, we understand that a lot of people can only give a little bit and we absolutely appreciate that. But on the other hand, quite frankly, Visa and MasterCard and PayPal don't need to get that much richer. <laughs> And they are taking such a significant portion of very small well, it's payments like, that it's, it's ridiculous. Yeah, because there's a flat fee from the processor. That's right. Then there's the percentage fee from the credit card. Then we got to pay for our infrastructure. Then we got to pay for our people. Then we got to give money to the creators. So it, it starts to dwindle down really fast. Um, people are asking if uh, people from now will be grandfathered in. Yes, that's the intention. However, that doesn't mean that there won't be new tiers with like higher quality or you know, blog posts or, uh, you know, early access to the scripts before we shoot them or like, I don't know, we could come up with cool stuff that we could do and that would be at new pricing in all likelihood. It's also likely that we would recognize our OG subscribers with some kind of special emote. Um, even site-wide actually might be kind of cool. Could we yeah. do a site-wide emote? Could like we, we launched now? Cause we did a, yeah. a pre-full platform emote. We could do yeah. a pre-launch like, emote. Like a launch pad emote or something like cool. that. A runway? Know. That'd be kind of neat. Yeah. Ooh, except it's no, because it's water. Yeah. So some, back to the drawing board on some, that one. But. Some water. <laughs> some water. That's actually not bad. <laughs> You get the three little squirting water things, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, but nervousness. Yeah, uh, yeah. Me too. Yeah. Okay, why are you nervous? I've got a few different things. One of them, hey, all that stuff we just talked about uh, was set up last night and this morning. AJ went super ham. Thank you very much, AJ. But uh, I'm going to be up on stage the entire time freaking out, hoping that everything isn't on fire. Um, so that's going to be really great for the nerves. Uh, number two is oh, I've been kay. off yeah. camera except for this and my own stream for a long time, and let alone presenting in front of people. It's going to be about 160 people there. And content that I've never even I haven't thought of a, doing before. I haven't done a full rehearsal of mine. I've like said mine to the bathroom mirror. Please tell me it was the bathroom mirror because that would be amazing. Two different people over Discord. Okay, all right. Yeah, that's it. But like, it's weird. I have not had time. I only, I, I mostly finished my material on, I think it was Tuesday night. It was either Tuesday or Wednesday night. And then I put the finishing touches on it this morning. Yeah. Which means doing a full read through. Not really even fully possible. I have not done. I've been but shooting all day. That's the other weird part is this type of presenting. Oh, we've, it's totally we've both, different. We've both done presenting, but we've never done presenting where people are going to like interrupt us by laughing or something. Yeah, I, I hope they laugh. If it's any good. I that's hope they laugh. been my biggest concern. It's like, I have no idea if this is even funny. It's funny. I was giving Yvonne a pep talk, right? So I was like, look, even if the people in the audience don't laugh, don't worry about it too much because you got to understand that only about half of the audience is actual fans. Okay. So I don't know if you know that, but Madrinas has a bunch of staff <sighs> here. Okay. Uh, there's a bunch of um, our staff, friends and family of staff. Some people brought, like I think James brought like six people. I'm trying to drag in a couple friends. Um, so like a lot of the people might not have all the context that they need to understand the joke, the ones there in person. And I was like, look, if, if we're going through the edit for YouTube and we think objectively that joke is very funny for our audience. We can, we might be able to play around with the laughter a little bit. Look, 
look, movie magic, okay? Uh, Chill out. I was, just, I was just saying, understand that there could be people out on the internet who think it's hilarious, but they're not there to laugh and feed you their energy. Is so anyone just like, do your be best. like watching the chat? Like you might be able to measure it that way oh, to a certain man, degree. I have no idea. Okay. But like, even though I was like telling her that, I'm sitting here with like knots in my stomach, unable to heed my own advice. And I'm like, I'm worried about bombing up there because I have what? never I, done anything like this. We're not comedy writers. No. I was never even a writer. No. <laughs> and then, you had to drag that out of me. Now I'm writing comedy. Like, I don't. Uh, and like, the thing is, I, I think of myself as kind of like a funny guy. Yeah. You know, in a group of But it's friends. totally different humor. No, oh, it's completely different. And the, the kind of, like, the punchiness and the cadence that you need to it is so different because I'm not trying to get any information across. I have no point other than, like, <clears throat> your mom dumb. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, apparently my material's great. <laughs> I just need you. <laughs> you yeah, can, I'll be You there. can laugh as loud you. as I'll need. Okay? I got you. No problem. A loudspeaker. Um, I, I, when I first heard about it, I was like, oh, I'm absolutely in. Of course. I need to be in on this. Then I heard, because I haven't really watched roast. Then I heard you get to roast us back. That sucks. And then, <laughs> and then, and then I would, like, had a whole bunch of like ideas in my head early on. I was like, oh, I'm yeah. fine. And then I wrote them all down and read them out loud. And I was like, this is... <laughs> Garbage. Terrible! I know. Holy crap! I had like, like my wife. I know her really, really well. I had like this much material for her, just just notes, bullet bullet form. I, I felt like I could have done a five minute set just on her, <laughs> and then I started like fleshing it out into like, you know, like punchlines. I was like, this isn't funny. No, it's just stupid. Yeah. And so, I'm, I, so th this is where I'm worried. Where like. I don't necessarily know if I've gotten far enough away from the this isn't funny, this is just stupid. No, I, no, no. I hope I made it. And I have no idea. The thing, too, is like much, much like, <laughs> just like my career is making YouTube videos, which I don't really consume. Um, tonight, I'm making roasts, like stand up comedy which, uh, content, which I actually don't find roasts funny. <laughs> I watched some of like very famous roasts. Um, I watched some in, in preparation for this, and the yes. ones that I have watched so far, it seems to be people who like genuinely dislike each other for the most part. Or like I watched people the who Trump one. really, really deserve it, like yeah. the Charlie Sheen one. Sure. Yeah, and it's like, and so I'm like, I'm watching, I'm watching this. I'm just going like, okay. Um, I mean, to be clear, I don't necessarily think it's people who genuinely dislike each other. I think maybe the, you're... No, the Trump one? Oh, I haven't watched the Trump one. The Trump one, as far as I can tell, is just a whole bunch of people who just viciously hate Trump. And I'm like, okay. I'm surprised he said okay to this. But, like, when you get, like, Seth MacFarlane up on stage, like, he doesn't yeah, like he's Trump. he's not a fan of... No. The Donald, for so, sure. And then, so, like, I watched yeah, another okay. one, and I don't necessarily even know these people. I don't know famous people very well, as right. you know. So there's person who I forgot her name, Amy Schumer. Yeah, yeah. And she's making fun of... I should really know this one. Mike Tyson. Oh, I see. Okay. Sure. Uh, and those, are, those were brutal. Right. And they really don't seem to like each other yeah. at all. Yeah, I mean, Ann Coulter didn't think any of the stuff that got said about her was very funny. Yeah. Um, like, a, a fair amount of... I did watch... There was one with Jonah Hill in it, and it was yeah. like him and a few of his friends and that one seemed like genuinely like they were just messing around i was like okay that's cool but that was the only example i found yeah i don't know it's just but anyway so i'm up there sort of i have to sit there and try to appreciate this art form yeah as the subject of it when it's one that i don't really fully understand like i don't really <laughs> yeah. get um and then i also have to do it and uh, i think both of us are gonna have um challenges but from opposite ends here in terms of like the creation of the material. So for, for okay, so for those who don't know, members of the dais um, are not just tasked with roasting me. Yeah. Um, anyone else up there is also fair game, but they I still- I picked someone who's not even up there. Yeah, they still have to have a fair bit of material on me. And that's like, I'm not saying because I'm 
perfect or something. I'm just saying it's, it's hard to come up with really, really funny stuff, like a lot of it, for just one person. I, and I was told the vast majority is for you. Uh, yes. And it's actually quite a while you have to talk for. So yes. like, it's a lot of writing. Okay, so from the other side, I'm supposed to zing you all back, but I only get like, like five minutes, six yeah, minutes, yeah, same as you guys. Yeah. So, so stringing it all together. I didn't even think about that. Really. Was a huge challenge. I just expected challenge. you would murder me for like most of it. <laughs> I was like, yeah, sure, whatever. I'm supposed to hit everyone. And you know what the funny That's thing is? kind of nuts. I actually. accidentally wrote it with one person missing because there was actually a change. Yeah. Um, and what I realized was like, no, I, I can't leave it that way. You can't not zing one person because then that's weird. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And then people will be like, why didn't he go after that guy? Yeah. Or they might feel like, does he think I'm such a snowflake that like I can't take a joke or something? Like what's going on here? Like, like it's almost like in order to prove that we are friends, you have to go, you out. have to rip on each yeah. other and yeah. for something like this. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> and it's like, how savage do I get? Cause I'm in a, I'm in kind of a weird position too, where unlike most roasts, I'm in a position of power and or authority over at least half of the people up there. Yeah. Um, That's another weird spot is I've never seen one where it's like their boss. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to it and I want them to not hold back. I've had people approach me and be like, look, I've got something really, really mean. I think you'll cry. <laughs> and I'm like, do it. Like, do it, do it, don't hold back. But the thing is like, I couldn't make, like the kinds of mean jokes that I could make about people like, yeah, you know, your job performance last year was pretty crap. That's why you didn't get a raise. <laughs> like, that's not funny. Yeah. That's so, not appropriate. So I had to figure out, like, what... Like, it's almost like it puts more restrictions on me than it does on them. Because I need to make sure that I'm... Yeah. I need to dish it back, because otherwise I'm not playing the game properly. But with restrictions. Whereas with them, I... I it's full, full open fire, you know. There were things that I took out of your section. Um, there's also things that I took out of other people's sections. Just because, honestly, it a lot of it came down to, like, not only do I think that thing wasn't necessarily as funny, because yeah. almost every time it wasn't as funny, which yeah. is one of the reasons why I got cut, but, like, it's either not applicable as much as the other things, yeah. or it's, like, probably a little too private. I went for much more public things yeah. on everything um, and tried to focus on that kind Some of stuff. Some people were more. really tough. Um, actually, I forgot. One of the Deus members is going to be my old boss. Oh, yeah. And so he doesn't have much of a public profile. So it's not like I can make jokes like, remember the time he... No, not... No, we don't. Ha-ha. <laughs> Hooray! Yeah. Um, so... So even though I have to do eight or nine people or whatever it is in five or six minutes, that's kind of nuts. I also have to kind of like put some context behind what I'm saying, or like come up with stuff. I actually have a really good, I have a really good set for him though. So <laughs> oh, I'm, yeah, I'm actually really happy. I was with when it. I saw his name, I was like, Linus needs to go hard because like I don't have that much time for it. But yeah. like, yeah, yeah, it's oh, gonna man. be it's gonna be really interesting. Uh, Seven says. Is there a float plane blog? Because it's hard to keep track of what's going on. I've I've wanted to start one a number of times, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, but what's yeah, happened every yes. time, and it's it's starting mm -hmm. to change now, especially. Mm -hmm. So maybe I will start one soon. I'm not. Can you tell sure. I've asked him to do this a lot of times? It has. I even said on Wancho once I was going to do one soon. And that was a long time ago. The problem is, we'll start working, and we're growing in employees, so it's starting to become less of a problem as people are starting to work on things more parallelized. But like. I think I said I was going to do one of those blogs right before we went into... That's a lot of rain. Right before we went into something that uh, we just refer to as like the V1 push, which is our, our framework went from beta to version 1. So we had to spend months just updating everything to work with version 1. Is that interesting in a blog? Nope. Not at all. I don't know. So, I think for some of our audience members, it actually would be. I, Oh, I don't. I don't think that section. I don't. That section wasn't even interesting for our own team, let alone other people. That just. That time just sucked. Uh, we're in. We're in good time now, which is cool. Uh, so a bunch of things are are happening. Um, it's Tyler just like teleported from over there to over there, as far as I can tell. <laughs> um, so it would probably be more interesting now. And now I'm 
I have like a little bit more incentive to do it. But now that things are more interesting, I also have less time because now I'm trying to hire more people and stuff. I don't know. But yeah, maybe maybe after I'm done hiring people, I'll, I'll make another attempt at making the blog. I also want it to like, I think it would make more sense to, for it to be on the website. And then that would require time from the dev team to go do that. And there's other like hyper high priority things. I think on Facebook would be fine, honestly. Yeah, I could probably just do that. Yeah, we have a Facebook. Every once in a while, I'll get an email from like, Facebook hey, why don't just you being do like, anything? "Hey, you should interact with people." <laughs> uh, maybe. Yeah, probably should. <laughs> I just we we've been in in such a pre-release state um, that it's felt. You know what I what you know what honestly the thing that I don't like about it is that we're losing so much of our like history. One of the really cool no, things about I've got I've got it all. You do? Yeah. Okay. Well, I just like I it. still have screenshots <laughs> from the original version of the forum. Okay. I've um. got screenshots and videos all the way through okay. full plane. And I can maybe even do like look where we came from posts. Yeah, but the feeling will be like missing a little bit, I think. Like it won't be you won't be like Everything is retrospective instead of like, yeah, that was where my head was at, at that point in the journey. Whereas what's really cool about Linus Media Group is that because we create videos every day, yeah. it's like it's like a memory trigger. I like, just, I think part of the problem is like, I don't want to star citizen ourselves. Yeah. Cause like I- And become I'm, a blog company basically. Partially, and I, and I don't want to, I, I don't want to pay for the fact that like, I said, hey, the app's almost ready. We're going to open source it soon. And then like, our path changed a little bit internally. Yeah. And like, hey, I'm gonna do a blog. And then we start doing V1, and I'm like, that doesn't really make sense anymore. But right. now I'm accountable for those things. Everything we put up in a dev blog, we're accountable for. Right. So if I'm like, hey, we're starting work on X project, and then X project gets part way through, uh, and then the person working on it is like, hey, this other thing should probably be done immediately. I'm gonna shift priority to that. And we drop X project for I don't know, six months, most of a year, forever? Who knows? Things change. So I like, do think that's pretty typical of a dev blog, though. Yeah, but the people get angry about it. That's very true. And I just, I don't know if I want to deal with that. Um, Give in to your anger. Yeah. Oh, that's weird. Shouldn't there be an admin CP there? Uh, you might not be a thingy. What did I do? You're in the wrong account, bro. Uh, okay. Well, I will deal with it another time. Because that's the not, other account. Yeah, no. Do you want okay. that other account that uh, you brought Oh, I up? was just, there's so many people in the Floatplane chat saying that they're, like, brand new subscribers and they're here for the roast. And I just, I was just curious to see how many people were joining. Um, you know what we should really do is go through our sponsors for the show today. So yeah. first up, we've got... Oh, wow. Yeah, there should. That's weird. Uh, you know what? No, let's do our first tech topic first. Okay. And then we will do that. <laughs> <laughs> so Intel, getting real serious about consumer graphics, Very. it looks like. So they recently, this was posted by Deus Voltage on the forum. And the article that uh, we found it I like on, that name was Kit Guru, NVIDIA's Tom Peterson reportedly joins Intel. Well, since five days ago, Insane. that uh, rumor or report has been very much confirmed. Tom Tap Peterson is officially at Intel, which for me was like, <laughs> what? You can ask Jaden and everyone around me upstairs when I read this news, I did the same thing. Like, I thought if you cut the guy open, his blood was like bright green. Like I, I was saving this. It was so hard for me to not go off about this because I wanted to save it for WAN show. And then I forgot about it when we were sitting here before the show and I'm so happy because I wouldn't have been able to contain myself. Do you think it might be somewhat, maybe marginally related to the hashtag save Tom situation? I think that couldn't help. So for those of you who don't know, uh, during a keynote, Jensen basically um, publicly humiliated Tom when a demo wasn't going according to plan. And the sort of word on the street is that Jensen is an extremely difficult boss to work for. Not in the way that some bosses might be hard to work for, where they come in and like berate you for being stupid because 
you suck at your job, uh, but they're like an idiot, where he'll come in and berate you for being stupid and sucking at your job, leaning over, spending three minutes and doing it better than you did, and being like, that's how it's done, because the guy is apparently just an absolute genius. Um, it's just that doesn't make it easier to deal with them necessarily. And I, this is all, I'm not, I can't, I could never, na I couldn't even name a source because I don't hearsay. remember where I've heard it from, but multiple people have expressed this sentiment to me over time. Yes, we know we have to leave at six. Oh, no, I was just going to run Oh, <laughs> thanks, Ed. Uh, anyway, so I think what we were seeing there might have just been a more public example of something that just exists. Yeah. Um, with that said, I mean, but Tom, like my my experience yeah. with that was that Thomas effectively disappeared after that for like a while. I off tried stuff to like get, social media. No, I tried to get on a call with him at one point and didn't. He was like gone. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, he wasn't gone, but like well, there had to be a very good reason to talk to him or something. And I was like, oh, can I just talk to Tom about this? Because I wanted something explained to me. And quite frankly, nobody explains really complex technology like Tom Peterson. He's amazing, yeah. The thing is that aside from having a great personality and having a talent for dumbing things down, he really, really understands it. Um, and by really understands it, I mean, again, can't tell you where I heard this, but word on the street is the guy basically invented G-Sync and pretty much created the API that we use for NVIDIA overclocking that utilities like MSI Afterburner and EBGA Precision hook into. Like the guys, important he knows it's a gaming really big deal. he knows graphics cards um and he's on team blue wow now to be clear a gpu like turing for example is not the brainchild of one person it doesn't work that not way not even close um and it's not like nvidia is going to be like oh no however will we make another graphics card without tom there's a lot of smart people there it's just that this one is one that i would have thought they would have worked pretty hard to hold on to. Then again, I might have said the same thing about Roger Kaduri, who defected from AMD over to Intel, uh, I think it was uh, last year. That team, I was, I was joking around with some guys upstairs about how we yep. should start doing like fantasy team stuff for GPU companies, just to try to guesstimate who's in, who Intel's gonna hire next. Because, like, apparently that's what they're doing. They're just taking everyone that's, like... Well, they hired Kyle Bennett. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> um, He'll be in charge of outreach to gamers and enthusiasts. Uh, I, just, I just don't know about if that's a good idea or not. I looked into, I was trying to talk to someone uh, that I'm not going to name about that one. And I was like, I'm just surprised because of some of the stuff that he like says and they want him for outreach. And then I Googled like some threads with him included. And I was like, wow, yep, I'm really surprised. <laughs> I just, that was an interesting move. I don't know. Um, anyways, one thing that I think is going to be pretty interesting is a lot of the communication from Intel has been extremely gamer focused. And I it, fe it feels like that's yep. their focus for their GPUs. And over the last little while, it feels like Nvidia's focus for the GPUs is data not center. gaming. Yep. It's data center, it's, it's yep. AI, AI and stuff like that. Deep learning, Deep learning. cars, all yeah. that kind of thing. Yeah. Yep. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm absolutely fascinated to see how this plays out. And I wonder what AMD's place in the world is going to be. CPU. When it's Intel going head to head with Nvidia on graphics. On the graphics side of things, I, I don't know, man. But on the CPU side of things, they still seem to be doing pretty good. Speaking of things I don't know, I don't know how I haven't managed to tell you guys about our sponsors for the say. WAN show yet. There you go. Our first sponsor is a Savage Jerky. Is there jerky to Savage eat? Savage oh. Jerky. I'm not even hungry today but I want my maple buffalo bacon. I am so hungry. I've had basically no food. Okay, well you can pick what you want of that. I'm yeah, having maple yeah. buffalo bacon. I'm just gonna have some original. Oh. Nice. 
Savage Jerky. Stuff. Their goal is to create a snack that's full of flavor and spice, but that isn't bad for you. Their jerky is made without nitrates or preservatives, and they've got 13 different flavors of jerky to choose from, like sriracha bacon and maple buffalo bacon. They also make barbecue sauce, hot sauce, and a spice rub, and their Carolina Reaper hot sauce uses one of the hottest peppers in the world. The Carolina Reaper. So use offer code LTT to save 15% on all of their products at the link below. Uh, also sponsoring the show today, Displate is back. Hey, cool. Apparently, people on WAN Show were pretty into these. So they've got over 26, 200, excuse me, 260. Wait, you weren't here for this. No. Oh, these are cool. I've They've never seen this. They've got over 260,000 designs. They do prints on a magnet-mounted metal sheet. So you can, like, swap them out. Exactly. That's really cool. So you can't have something, like, crooked on your wall. Yeah. You just, yeah, and it, and it sticks there. And uh, so they're huh. durable. You don't need any power tools to hang it. You can just easily and quickly swap them out if you're into something else or whatever. And this is cool. They plant 10 trees for every displate that gets purchased. So use code LTT to save 15% at lmd.gg slash displate WAN. Apparently, uh, after the last WAN show spot we did, uh, our audience was pretty into these. Like, I'm talking a lot of displates. <laughs> so I was like, oh, yeah, neat. And on, we were using them in the sets already. Yeah. Because if we want to change up the look really quickly. It's like, really easy. Clang, clang, done. That's super cool. Yeah, really cool. Yeah, I've genuinely never seen that. Oh, yeah, check this one out. Ah. Ah. Here's another really neat, like, kind of techy looking design. I like that. Yeah. I like both of them so far, but I think I like this one more. You can do I just like the art style. Want. And finally, The Wan Show is brought to you by Madrinas. Uh, oh, are these them? Yeah, these are them! Don't take them out, why not? There's none, can... there's none behind them. I know there's none behind them, it's fine. So we do have more, but we, we kind of took them all because we're bringing them to the roast. Yep. So these are the exclusive Linus Tech Tips Vanilla Cold Brew Cans, and they are coming soon. These are prototypes, by the way, and by prototypes, they mean stickers. Yeah. They're, ju they're just stickers. It looks pretty good for a sticker. I had no idea until you pulled it out. <laughs> Madrina's coffee is coffee for fuel. Organic cold brew coffee in a convenient 15 ounce can with a flavor for everyone. Madrina's coffee offers sweet and creamy flavors like mocha or caramel or bold flavors like their cold brew black. LTT has a permanent item on their e-store, the Lambo Roast. You guys should check that out. And if you head over to madrinascoffee.com slash Linus, you can get 40% off your entire order with offer code Linus. If you have any questions about Madrinas or cold brew coffee or micro roast or anything, Shlomo from the Madrinas Coffee Head team is in the chat ready to answer your questions through direct messages. Um, I have a note in here. Don't forget to tease slash mention the roast of Linus Sebastian tonight. I think we spent... Uh... I think we got that <laughs> covered. I think we did that for a while. I think we're good. I think that's no problem. I'm so freaking nervous. Yeah, me too. The closer I get to it, the more I'm just like... I've, I've been up. trying to not, I don't know. I, I go through sections where I'm like, I'm just going to try to not think about it. I'm going to do some other stuff to take my mind off it. But then I'm like, oh, I should be practicing or reading or like doing something. Ah. I know so little about what's going to happen. Yeah. Like, all I know is little bits and pieces. I know that apparently half naked butlers are going to carry me in what? on a litter. What? Yeah, that's how I that's how I make my approach to the stage apparently. What? I know. Who are these people? This is like no, it's like a thing. What? Yeah, there's like a service that has like What? You can hire butlers. <laughs> that 100% must have been James. Oh yeah, of course. I'm sure no one else was No, of course not. Kay. Yeah. So so anyway, so like <sighs> I've heard these little Boy. Bits and pieces of what's gonna happen tonight, but this is probably the least involved that I have ever been in a major project at this company. Yeah. Because out of necessity, I cannot know exactly what's going on. Are you worried about, because we, we talked about your, your worries and one of them was a complication of you don't have really enough time per person. Um, are you worried about how, I'm not gonna ask for specific names or anything, but are you worried about how people will take your roasts at all? Or are you worried about the presentation and 
Because I know you're worried about the writing because it's something you haven't really done. I'm before. not worried about people taking it badly. Okay. I'm, I'm mostly worried about... I just don't want to be in the bottom half. The bottom half. Yeah. Of everyone's sets, I don't want to be the best. I don't expect to be the star of the show or whatever. I just don't want to be the worst. Uh, me too. Yeah. That's like... You don't want to be that one person at the roast that sucked. Yeah. I'm genuinely worried about mine in that <sighs> regard. I think, I think I'll do okay. Uh, and my problem is I've tested on people so far, and they've all been like, yeah, that's super great. Funny. But it's like, my friends? So... And the other thing you can't control, too... And they're like, like, no, I don't have time to edit it. It's <laughs> like, what you... <laughs> <laughs> The, uh, the other thing that's, like, really scary, too, is that, like, what if you come on after someone that bombed? What if it's not your fault that the audience is half asleep? Yeah. Like, what if, what if, what if, what if? What if by the time I get up, because I go last, what if by the time I get up there, the whole show is such a complete snore fest that, like, only the friends and family are left? What if? I don't know. And like, I, actually, a pretty significant amount of people that I've talked to uh, don't enjoy roasts. I didn't know you didn't either. But like, what if the audience just isn't into it? <sighs> it's interesting. It's mm -hmm. something. It's aggressively something we've never done before. Mm -hmm. Patchu actually gave a review of the Lambo roast. Good quality, non-exciting blend. Happy for the quality, but I've had a Phil's kick, and that's miles more interesting. Wish they did something more dramatic to turn heads and anger certain people with the Lambo roast than hit something that's kind of for everyone and that's boring. Honestly, I will tell you, that was my directive. I was going to say, I think they let you guys kind of design it. We designed it by consensus internally. Yeah. So we went with what everyone, oh, that every coffee sense. drinker in the building liked, yeah. rather than something that was very polarizing. <laughs> That makes sense. We, so, we, heck yeah, I guess, because yeah. it went pretty much right with what he said. So Linus Tech Tips merch has kind of a new directive now. Um, it, it honestly doesn't matter, like, kind of how much margin we make on it or um, if it's necessarily the most sensible thing to bring down the roadmap at this time or whatever. The thing is, any LTT merch moving forward, because I was really unhappy with some of the old stuff, just needs to be good. You need to get it, and you need to feel like, oh, they cared. Yeah. They cared enough that this is good. So I'm fine if it's a little bland, but I would be really upset if the quality of it was not acceptable. Yeah. So that was what that was basically that. I'm just. Before I mean, I getting on the show, I, w yeah. I had this bin delivered to me with my name yeah. on it with shirts, so I can't possibly forget things because everyone knows I'm pretty uh, bad at remembering that kind of stuff, uh, which is great. Thank you, Lloyd. Um, but I put the shirt on, and yep. immediately before the show even, I was like, wow, it feels really nice. Yes. Like, the, the shirts are just better. The design's not out there or anything. Not necessarily. Like, this is a really, the logo. This is a really simple dessert. Uh, dessert. This is a really simple shirt that we'd like anyone to kind of quite complicated feel dessert. like they're not, you know shilling for a Linus yeah. Media Group by wearing it. They just, it's just, I just want it to just see a like cool looking a nice shirt that's comfortable and that they, they like to wear. Um, and once we get that down, once we feel like, no, you know what? Every item that ships from our warehouse is just nice. Then we can start to do some more out there stuff. Yeah. I got to tell you, the store has been doing amazing. We did a coupon last week, and we did the most orders that we've ever done in a week by a country mile. And we, the thing is, we still only got, like, what, four or five shirt designs and, like, cable ties. And I think there's, like, one other thing. Like, some of the really cool stuff that I think is going to—I made—I I bet Nick. The Have you seen the water bottle prototype? I think so. Oh, okay. I gave it to Steve, so I, can, I you won't have another chance I'm to I'm pretty sure I it. saw it, though. Yeah, I gave him our first prototype, the one with the circuit board on it, right? Yes. So matte black with a glossy black circuit board and Linus Tech Tips up the side in orange. Uh, it looks incredible. I bet Nick, I told him, if we don't sell a thousand of them in the first like three days, I think I said, I will be floored because it is so cool. It's so cool. LTX is probably going to have floatplane shirts. 
Oh yeah, that's right. Not that many of them. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, we won't be printing that many. They're of them. quite limited, because I don't know how much interest there's gonna be, but there's gonna be some there. Basically, if you want to support Luke <laughs> <laughs> and Rep Luke, <laughs> you, can, you can buy a low plane shirt. Yeah, I think like I'm gonna be buying some. Well, I guess. Yeah, I'm going to be taking some or buying some or whatever, giving them to float plane staff, giving them to some friends and family. I'm going to be giving some to Kyle and to cool. Tech Deals so they can have some of their own and whatnot. And then there will be like some left that will be at the event. Um, so uh, Derek Carpenter asked if I, Justine, is going to be there. If the question is about the roast tonight, the answer is unfortunately no. I totally invited her and I would have loved to have her there. And she was like, OMG. Totally want to, cannot make it work with my schedule. And I was like, that's okay, dude. I, I totally get it. Um, but she's not confirmed, so don't take this as gospel truth. My understanding is she is going to be making her absolute best effort to be at LTX this year, though. Cool. So our roster of pretty much confirmed creators is now about 15. Did you know that? Wait, for what? For LTX. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, okay, LTX yeah. is going to be nuts this year. That's actually really cool. I'm so excited. I'm crazy excited for LTX. A lot of them are pretty small. Like, our, our cutoff for, uh, like, kind of how big you had to be in tech in order to get um, free accommodation and travel was f fairly reasonable, I think. So, yeah, should be pretty good. Yeah. Um, all right, what else do we have to talk about? There is some more tech news, right? Oh, we got to be out of here in, like, six minutes. Uh, uh, uh. Um, uh, uh, I think we're dropping frames like crazy. Oh, really? Like on this? I think so. There's a whole bunch, 400 and something. Why? Did Jake change it to GPU encoding or something? No, this still has like a 960 in it. I don't think it's, uh, nope, it's not. Hmm. I don't know what's wrong with this machine. Maybe we should just like upgrade it. It's only a six core. You know what I noticed too is our our um, our capture laptop, the capture blade. I was trying to record on it today, just 1080p, 30, and it was at like 90% usage and it was dropping frames. I wonder if OBS just got a little heavier. I don't know. Anyway, we'll need to uh, maybe we should just upgrade this machine and throw more horses at it. Call it good. Um, yeah, guys. Uh, yeah, I don't think the problem's on float plane because we're actually seeing OBS drop the frames here. So. Uh, the machine that we're using to stream the show tonight is not this one. It's our streaming cart, which we use for like our Friday live streams and stuff like that. So I would expect that to be fine. Uh, Intel announces their broadest product portfolio for moving, storing, and processing data. They've got a whole bunch of stuff, including their 56-core, 12 memory channel, Xeon Platinum 9200 processor. They've got their second generation. Uh, oh, this is cool. So Optane DC persistent memory is finally here. So you can plunk an Optane module into a DIMM slot, and you can have, I forget what it is. Is it up to a uh, 512 gigs or something? Can't remember exactly how much, but you can have a ton of capacity in memory as long as whatever you're doing is not particularly latency sensitive, and it'll allow you to work on much larger data sets for things like AI and deep learning and all that kind of thing. That's cool. Uh, their new Agilex. FPGAs are built on 10 nanometer tech. So there's going to be FPGAs out there that are built on really like the latest cutting edge process node. Um, so we could expect to see better performance in things like, uh, for example, uh, high end video cameras. So there's lots of products that you might kind of not think about, like, oh, what kind of processor do they use? So an FPGA is uh, a fully programmable chip that can kind of pretend to be a purpose-built integrated circuit. So instead of using a general purpose processor that can come with all kinds of overhead um, that causes it to consume more power or not be as efficient for a task, an FPGA can be programmed specifically to do just one thing really well. And it's great for applications like uh, video encoding in something like uh, a RED camera. The problem is that while an FPGA is much more expensive than an actual like custom fabbed chip, um, you don't have to have nearly the same volume in order to 
make your business model work. So as long as you can build enough margin into your product that you can use FPGAs, which can be hundreds and hundreds of dollars each just for your CPU, then uh, it's a great way to get performance that otherwise just wouldn't be possible. So higher performance FPGAs, great thing all around. With that said, I don't know anything about what the real world performance of these looks like, just sounds pretty good. This is all just announcements right now, so just talking about the news. Uh, in other news, this was posted by RC Mail on the forum, Amazon, to offer broadband. Wow. I can't think of anything that could go wrong with that. <laughs> Should I sign up for Facebook's phone line while I'm at it? <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's a little brutal in terms of the, like, literally owning your entire life thing. But it's going to be another one of those, like, we're putting satellites in space kind of situations. Mm -hmm. I don't think they're doing landlines or anything like that. Mm -mm. Uh, but they, they're trying to increase the amount of people that can have access to the internet and have their homepage forced to Amazon.com. Yep, so the project is codenamed Project Kuiper. Yep. Um, something like that. Is that how you pronounce that? I think so. It's like K-U-I-P-E-R or something? I yeah, I think I it's remember. named after the Kuiper belt, which is... Uh, that makes sense. Okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, anyway, their first public step took the form of three sets of filings made with the International Telecommunications Union last month by the Federal Communications Commission on behalf of Washington, D.C.-based Kuiper Systems, LLC. And the filings lay out a plan to put 3,236 satellites in low Earth orbit. Holy crap. Uh, so it'll be a constellation of satellites that will provide low latency, high speed broadband, broadband connectivity to unserved and underserved communities around the world. This is a long term project that envisions serving tens of millions of people who lack basic access to broadband internet. We look forward to partnering on its initiative with companies that share this common vision. Fantastic. Um, the United Nations estimates that almost 4 billion people around the globe are underserved when it comes to internet access. They didn't provide a timeline for deployment. <laughs> Don't blame them. I suspect it'll be a while. And I guess that's honestly all that I have because we need to go. It is 5.59 yeah. and we need to drive. We got to roll. So uh, for those of you on Floatplane, we will see you there. Floatplane is $3 a month. Go to floatplane.com and sign up. The live stream will be in a couple hours, like two, two and a half hours. And uh, hopefully this goes okay. Oh, I should do super chats, super chats. Um, we legit don't have it to the time. But okay, yeah, okay. Fly I'll, go, I'll go fast. Uh, Damon, AMD Navi GPUs are gaining traction again in news media. What are your predictions and thoughts? Man, it's AMD rumors. What am I supposed to tell you? I predict that it'll be whatever it is, and the rumors will have no impact on that. We'll do the intro. Calm down. Brent says, update for BYOC tickets at LTX. Uh, coming later. Follow LTX Expo on Twitter. Uh, Paul says, I just want to say, keep kicking ass, guys. Thanks, Thanks. Paul. Ryan, you guys are great. Keep it up. Thanks, Ryan. Uh, Captain Zero, does the live stream on Floatplane work on mobile? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I don't see why not. It's yeah. through the browser. It's not yeah. through the app. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Although we do have an app update. And, and live stream works on yeah. it. <laughs> uh, Revenant, what old school forums did you use to post in? Extremesystems.org, extremeoverclocking.com, redflagdeals.com, and NCIX forums. Mostly OCN, but other stuff included. Uh, someone with a Russian name sent us some rubles. You guys rock. Thanks, Thanks. Russian guy. Or gal, Ryan, I may need to get Floatplane now. Yes, you may need to. You probably shouldn't have spent that $2 on that super chat. You probably should have just spent it on Floatplane, but that's okay. <laughs> Good job. Uh, Thanos Gaming, will you be doing more RG Rig Reboot? Yes, if it's within our power, we will, but it's on Asus whether it happens or not. George, why does Luke's beard connect to the right side but not the left? What? Must be a bug. Yeah, it probably is. Uh, Matt, get Floatplane for the live stream of the roast. Thank you, Matt. Uh, I d I'm just reading everything. Zion, can you not get interchange rate for credit card processing? What does that even mean? Tristan what? Adam says, just subscribed on Floatplane. Interchange rate for card processing. Huh? Yeah, we'll have to figure that out. Oh, I think I know what he's talking about, and nah, dude. Eric, you don't find it funny because you always roasted. Well, no, no, I mean when I'm watching other people's roasts. T-Bone says, I'd love to subscribe to Floatplane. Is there going to be an Android app? Yes. Um, it's not going to be open source anymore, though. We uh, changed our minds. More on this at 11. Joshua, Steve equals tech Jesus. J equals tech Judas. Linus equals tech Moses? Because sandals. Thank you for that. Um, wow. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, bye. Wait. Uh, the on. intro. They're uh, going to freak out. Media. Hey, I'm a graphic designer, gamer, artist, writer, and photography. Obviously, I spend a lot of time on my computer. Can you recommend a good but budget chair? 
<gasps> Preferably racing as I find them the most comfortable. 250 bucks. Oh, honestly, I hate to be this guy, but 250 bucks for whatever reason is not a lot of chair. Um, that's the cold hard truth. Yeah. I'm so sorry. The chairs are to be the one to break it to obscenely you. expensive. Um, you're probably like, like a really good chair. You're probably looking at six or seven hundred. I'm I, I hate that. There's no reason they should be. It makes no sense to me, but they are. Um, Connor says, can I come work for y'all so I can quit my semi crappy job at the university working in their IT department? Um, not unless you applied recently when we posted job postings. Okay, bye everyone. Intro. I got it. I got there it. There we go. They would actually hunt me down and murder me as far as I can tell if we didn't run that. Hopefully chat seems more active than you Yeah. How many people are watching? Never mind, we're still alive. Butter!